Um, very good morning. First of all, um, uh, thank uh, Crash for the invitation and the acceptance of this paper and, um, and also express uh, my enormous, uh, enormous appreciation of the hospitality shown at the conference. This paper is given in memory of my uh, very dear friend, uh, the actor and poet Mike Shannon, who died on the 21st of, the, of December, who five years ago, uh, around five years ago, he asked me to investigate uh, the background and history of his father, uh, Alexander Wilson, who he last saw at a railway station in Laban, Yorkshire, in the spring of 1941, in the uniform of a colonel in the Indian Army, going to war. Just over a year later, about 18 months later, uh, Mike Chan, who was only seven, going on eight at the time, um, when he last saw his father, and he was nine, in October 1942, he was told by uh, his uncle and mother that his father had died at the Battle of El Alamein. When his uh, mother died in 1965, uh, all he could find was one copy of a spy novel that his father, Alexander Wilson, had written in 1939, called Wallace Intervenes, uh, published by Herbert Jenkins, the publisher of P.G. Woodhouse. There was also an album of photographs of uh, the time of his father and mother in India in the 1920s. He had been with his father for a matter of uh, seven years in his life. There had been some very intensive and uh, very uh, significant memories. Uh, for example, in the spring of 1938, um, his father took him to the uh, German embassy in Carlton House uh, Gardens. And um, when he met the then uh, German foreign minister, Joachim Ribbentrop, he spoke in fluent German. Incidentally, the old German embassy uh, was a fascinating location for uh, uh, counter-espionage and espionage. It was a centre of German intelligence activities in the United Kingdom, uh, driven by the Nazi regime, and also penetration by uh, MI5, and SIS, and um, there was also a quite significant intelligence agency operation run by Robert Banzertart, who was... Uh, the, the senior civil servant in the Foreign Office, and in 1938 was given an intriguing role without portfolio, described as the chief diplomatic um, uh, observer or expert. When I started the investigation, there was uh, an extraordinary revelation. Uh, his father only existed in relation to his birth certificate. He had no beginning, he had no end. He had no existence in any British Army records. His identity uh, to Mike Shannon, uh, who was then um, named uh, Michael Chesney Wilson, was uh, Alexander Douglas Gordon Chesney Wilson. Um, yet, um, the one spy novel expanded into a canon of espionage, thriller and romance writing, uh, amounting to around 20 published novels. Contemporary reception in uh, national newspapers and uh, newspapers and media throughout the world uh, of a very high quality, uh, strong uh, critical reception, appreciation, strong uh, sales. Uh, from the New York Times to um, the Times Literary Supplement to the Observer to the Straits Times of Singapore. When I began to uh, read the texts, um, uh, even more interesting uh, conclusions and observations emerged. Um, it was, there was no doubt that he was an original espionage writer, 
uh, bridging the uh, genres and traditions of John Buchan, um, Eric Ambler, there are aspects of uh, John Le Carre. Uh, he couldn't be simply pigeonholed into much of the categorization of the literary and cultural criticism of spy fiction of the 20th century. In the very process, um, I began to sense texts of um, lost and forgotten history and tropes in the uh, process of uh, canonization and critical literary history of the uh, of popular uh, spy fiction. Um, in particular, uh, his uh, first two novels, uh, published in 1928, and The Mystery of Tunnel 51, and this uh, novel, um, The Devil's Cocktail, involved the characterization of a British Secret Service, a global operation headed by uh, a fictional character, Sir Leonard Wallace, um, obviously uh, aggrandizing, uh, promoting the prowess of the idea of a British Secret Service uh, in empire, combating not only uh, Nazism, but German, but uh, Japanese militarism, Italian fascism, and global organized crime. And uh, I recognized aspects of the character of Captain Mansfield Smith Cumming, um, the first C. In the um, uh, direct comparison, I found 12 um, significant uh, characteristics and similarities. Um, you, it's not possible to apply a mathematical uh, probability equation because of the uh, impossibility of exculpatory factors. However, in, in terms of um, what I would describe as uh, cultural um, probability and intelligence uh, assessment, um, these 12 coincidentals, from the false wooden limb as a result of great war wound accident, modesty, self-effacing desire for privacy and secrecy, Distinctive grey eyes, less than 3% of the United Kingdom population uh, in, in the early part of the 20th century. Uh, short physical stature. Wife had a full name beginning with M. Smith Cumming, May, Leonard Wallace, Molly. Um, even down to the location of town home and country home. Country home in Hampshire, New Forest area. That's uh, uh, Smith Cumming. Leonard Wallace near Lyndhurst. Um, Smith Cumming had a house in Bramshaw and a house bird in uh, London West Home in uh, London Home in the West End um, for Leonard Wallace and Piccadilly Smith coming was in Whitehall Court. Even down to the specific honours, um, very very significant. And the um, the exculpatory process of analysis is that um, Alexander Wilson began writing these spy novels out of the blue. Um, he was a commissioned junior commissioned subaltern in the Great War. Uh, he um, ran a repertory drama company. Uh, that's, this, this information, of course, is, uh, is fast forwarding a little bit. Um, but there's no explanation of where he drew his intelligence knowledge, uh, his knowledge of Smith Cumming. Uh, the only uh, conclusion that I can offer is that he, he had a uh, direct source. Uh, this wasn't derived from uh, what could be described as basic research, or he had personal knowledge. Um, so we're talking about possibilities here. The characterization in uh, memoirs and documentary literature of um, the first C only began to happen from 1930. So we have an exculpatory, in my opinion, uh, textual um, uh, analysis. Um, and um, as far as I have been able to do, and um, there are some uh, academic analysts of 20th century spy fiction much braver and with um, greater stamina than me, um, anybody who's prepared to read all the works of William the Q or P. Phillips Oppenheim deserve a knighthood um, or a very long holiday, <laughs> several years of therapy. I haven't found any contemporary, uh, novel novelist contemporary to this period in the spy fiction genre who had such a close uh, representation of the, of the first scene. Um, again, fast forwarding, um, I eventually tracked down some unpublished manuscripts by um, Alexander Wilson. And I found an equally close, um, realistic, naturalistic um, representation of the second C, uh, Quetz, uh, Q. Quetz uh, Sinclair, in an unpublished novel. The 
Initially, um, all I had were the texts, and um, I studied the text closely. Uh, he moved beyond spy fiction to romance, um, to crime thriller writing, Doctor, uh, the death of Dr. Whitehall is one example. The Crimson Dacoit, which is not a Selena Wallace um, a novel, but is a significant uh, novel in the intelligence field, intelligence genre, because uh, in The Crimson Dacoit, published in 1933, uh, it's all about an intelligence mall inside the British Indi Indian intelligence. It's very Le Carre, very circus but in a different location of uh, British uh, power, characterizing the mentality of terrorism and fundamentalist violence. Um, and um, has very in interesting cultural resonances and understandings of um, you know, what um, turns a, a Cambridge University educated mm -hmm. graduate into uh, um, uh, an acolyte of uh, political violence. To give you some idea of uh, how he was received and um, celebrated in critical reception, um, this is the Straits Times of Singapore. Um, so we're talking about raffles, uh, ping gins, uh, the sling cocktail. Major Wilson has used his great knowledge of India to give us the most exciting tale of battle, murder and lots, and lots of sudden death. Mostly dealt, it must be admitted, by the fair hand of the heroine herself. So you have a celebration of the, the blood novel, the, um, the shocker, but also um, a realisation that he has also many true things to say on the state of India. And what's so fascinating about the popular literature, and um, I pay tribute to the um, criticism of popular culture of George Orwell, uh, Wilson's contemporary, is that, uh, again, it, it's, a, I think, a major intellectual and academic trope um, to uh, simplify and um, uh, limit uh, the categorisation of literature, because in popular literature we find dimensions and elements of... Um, Haute culture, uh, politics, uh, and um, I also argue the um, encoding of um, intelligence um, tradecraft in relation to Alexander Wilson's work, but also the, um, what I recognise as the political anxieties of um, the so-called secret world and the intelligence agencies. And the Straits Times uh, very much respected um, his governor uh, Wallace, um, his Excellency Governor Wallace, largely because a key scene takes place at Raffles Hotel. Wallace at Bay, 1938, uh, um, surveillance infiltration, common term plots, uh, assassination uh, plot uh, on King uh, Peter of Yugoslavia, of course, King Peter's father was uh, killed dramatically in, uh, in Marseille. The interesting aspect of the text of this novel is that uh, Wilson pushes the, pushes the boundaries, he, he interpolates the, the high, uh, the hyper uh, intensity of um, uh, intelligence fantasy with the uh, banal hard work of the intelligence operative. In Chronicles of the Secret Service, um, which was his last um, published uh, Wallace novel, uh, one of the novellas included in, in a kind of uh, small triple decker, in 1940 warns uh, against the prowess and brilliance of Japanese intelligence and, uh, and military uh, capabilities. Uh, in, in fact, encodes a message um, that was not um, recognised or accepted by the British intelligence and, and, and military imperial establishment. Um, it's absolutely unique in, in popular fiction. And um, other aspects I found in relation to his 30s novels, for example, um, Wallace Intervenes, a 1939 novel, like um, a, a fair number of other contemporary novelists, popular spy fiction um, was seen as a, uh, as a space for um, anti-appeasement, um, but um, he does have his parallels in the encoding of intelligence personalities. Martha McKenna, for example, in Set of Spy, 1937, was recognised by David Stafford as an encoding of the uh, character and political anxieties of uh, Quetz uh, Sinclair. So um, he's not alone. Microbes of Power, 1938, <laughs> biological, yes, it's <laughs> but biological warfare. And um, I'm delighted that the latest uh, official uh, MI6 history that Sir Richard Dearlove um, did not want to have published uh, includes documentation of uh, SIS evaluation of um, the, the threat of biological warfare.